वेलकम टू कॉम्पिटेटिव इंजीनियरिंग योर फ्री लेक्चर वट इज यूनिक विथ दस वील बी कवरिंग ऑल सब्जेक्ट विथ क्रिस्प एंड शार्ट वीडियो ऑल वीडियो आर एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट वी प्रोवाइड स्टडी मेटीरियल एंड नोट्स फॉर प्रिपरेशन वी प्रोवाइड डिस्कशन एंड डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन थ्रू अवर एफ बी पेज सो वॉट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू सपोर्ट दिस फ्री इनिशियटिव हाउ by liking our videos which shows that our videos are interesting and useful to you then subscribe our channel which shows you are interested in your con in our content and you want more that share our videos which shows video is useful to you and will be useful to your friends also lecture number 2 thermodynamic systems and types So these are some useful instructions you can change the video quality and if the video is found slow you can increase the speed also if the video is found useful please share this video to your friends feel free to ask questions and request for videos so this is a lecture overview this is a second lecture thermodynamic systems and types the first lecture was macroscopic and microscopic views you can watch this lecture you will get the video link in the description below so what is thermodynamic systems in thermodynamics we will be study we will be studying about something some area for example for a compressor it may be engine or it may be some refrigeration device or something like that so the area in which we are interested that do we called thermodynamic system the quantity of matter or space upon which we are concentrated that is called the thermodynamic system and everything external to the system is called surroundings so the system and surrounding that comprises the universe and the system and surroundings are separated by boundary for example uh, we are interested in cooling of a hot liquid which is kept in a jar kept in a jar in the over the table so our system is that jar and liquid inside the jar so everything outside that is the atmosphere air and everything outside that jar that is the surroundings and the which separates the system and surroundings in one side it is the jar that separates and uh, on the top surface it is the gas layer that is separating so that is system boundary okay and all these comprises the universe so this is system system boundary and surroundings so in th thermodynamics we will be dealing with system surroundings and system boundary and the system boundary can be a fixed boundary or movable boundary what is meant by a fixed boundary or movable boundary in fixed boundary the boundary will be fixed it will not change and in movable boundary it move varies for example some gas is kept in a cylinder and we are pushing it with a piston so the piston may move up and down so the movement of the piston which changes the system boundary so it is a movable boundary but in case of fixed boundary it, that boundary will be fixed there will not be any change and uh, movable boundary is normally denoted by dotted lines and fixed by f mm, thick lines so thermodynamics we will be studying about interaction between the system and surroundings there are mainly two types of interactions one is energy interaction and the second one is mass interaction and the interaction between the system and surroundings it can be two types one is into the system which means uh, something is uh, the energy or mass is going from surroundings to the system that is we call into the system and in the same way system can reject something to the surroundings which means that from system it may go to the surroundings it is called out of the system because we are interested in the system so into the system and out of the system so two types of energy interaction energy interaction and mass interaction so based upon these types of interactions uh, systems are divided into three types first one is open system in an open system both energy and mass interaction occurs between the system and surroundings which means that energy can come into the system and energy can leave the system the same way mass can come into the system and mass can leave the system examples are pump compressor boiler turbines etc we will be dealing with pump compressor boiler etc in coming lectures and 
for example we will be dealing compressor and boiler here in a compressor which is a device used to compress the air compress the air or compress some gas so air will be coming in or some gas will be coming in and it is compressed and air will be going out so air is a mass so air is coming in air is coming out which means the mass is coming in and mass is coming out and some um, compressor will be driven by some motor or a turbine so the motor is supplying the work into the system which means that work is also crossing the system boundary which means that there is energy interaction also so when compressor is working compressor will heat temperature will rise so that heat will be dissipated into the sur surroundings which means the heat is going out of the system from the system to the surrounding so in a compressor air is coming in air is coming out that is mass interaction and uh, work is coming in and heat is coming out that is energy interaction so a compressor both mass interaction and energy interaction occurs so compressor is an open system in the second case is a boiler a boiler is used to uh, create vapors means steam so water will be coming in and steam will be going out we will convert water to steam by heating so water coming in and steam coming out water is a mass and mass is coming in and steam is coming mass is going out also so we will heat the steam heat the water for becoming into steam so the heat is coming into the system that is the heat is an energy so it is heat is coming into the system so boiler is also an open system the second type is closed system in closed system there is no mass transfer only energy transfer occurs between the system and surroundings that is in there is no mass transfer means the system of fixed mass the mass inside the system will be constant at the initial starting of the process there will be some amount of mass after the process also the mass will be same so in a closed system only energy interaction occurs that energy can come into the system and energy can leave out of the system and example is piston cylinder without any walls that means in a cylinder there will be some gas is filled and there is at the top there is a piston so why there is no walls so walls are the devices used to enter the gas into the system or leave the gas so without any walls means there is no mass in or mass out so for a closed system the best example is a cylinder and a piston so the piston which is the boundary which is moves up and down which piston can push the gas that is compress the gas and in the same way piston can move up that is expansion also so work can come in that is compressing is a work we have to provide some work into the system then only the gas piston will move, come down and compress the gas so work can come in and but the, there, there is no provision for mass entering the gas into the system or out of the system there is a mass transfer so this is about closed system and the third type is isolated system there is no mass transfer there is no energy transfer that is the system of fixed mass and energy so there is no such system which is called isolated system but we will and take thermo flask as an example thermo flask is a device used to maintain the hot water maintain its temperature hot of hot water so it will be well insulated so it is closed also so we ideally we will say that um, water content the liquid content inside the thermo flask is constant so it's a constant mass and uh, it is well insulated so there is no heat transfer energy into the system or energy out of the system so it is uh, in an isolated system but practically we cannot make a thermo flask which which can have zero heat transfer so and another example is universe it is also not a proper example why because we are thinking that there is no nothing outside the universe so these are the three types of system open system closed system and isolated system so we are concluding this video support us by liking this video if the video is found useful and subscribe our channel and share the video if the video is found useful and it may be useful for your friends also thank you for watching thank you